clap your hands in the sanctuary. Come on, lift your voice in the sanctuary. Come on, rejoice in the sanctuary. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. Come on, stand to your feet if you know he's good. Come on, clap your hands and rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, family. Good morning. We come to bless and magnify the name of the Lord. Is he worthy? Come on, just look at your neighbor and say, the Lord is worthy to be praised. Come on and clap your hands and bless him with us this morning. God is great. God is great.
Think about the goodness of the Lord. Come on, put some in your mouth. The Lord has done for you this week. And begin to shout unto the Lord. The Lord has you worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Come on, it's your holy. Hallelujah. Somebody, y'all sitting down like God ain't did nothing for you. Hallelujah. Come on, let's begin to give God your worship this morning. Begin to open up your mouths and begin to release unto the Lord your worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your worship to the Lord. It's just your intimate session with the Lord. Begin to tell him how great and mighty he is. We didn't pump, come to pump and prime you. We come to worship with you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's so awesome. We bless you, Jesus. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Jesus. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Come on, help me see it. Open the, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want, I want to see you. I want, I want to see you. Come on, lift your voices to the Lord. Open the open eyes the of eyes my heart. heart. Just tell the Lord, I want to I see, want to see you. Come on, sing it again. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. I want. I want to see you. Say, I want to see, I want to see you. Come on, one more time to the Lord. Say, oh, open, open the eyes. I want to 
every day, running that demon away, for you was protecting us, for you are our healer, Lord. We thank you for it, for you are our sustainer, Lord. We thank you for it, for Lord, you are our strong tower. We thank you, Lord, for you and your mighty works. We can see your mighty hand working all over this land. Father, you're doing such great things in our lives, so we thank you. We thank you for the young people. We ask, Father God, that you continue to bless their minds. Continue to bless their hearts, Lord. We pray that their eyes are open, their hearts are open, Father, to you. Father, we ask you, Father, to continue to keep them safe. Build a fence all around the young people, Lord God. Keep them. Put a safety net for them. But when they fall, Lord, they'll be protected. We're asking you, Lord, today for every ministry in this church and churches all over the land that's standing open in the name of Jesus. Father, that you bless them as they lead us. We thank you, Lord, for our pastor this morning. We thank you for the shepherd of this house. We thank you for him. And Father, we ask that you hold no good blessing for his family, whatever he's standing in the need of, as well as us, Father. We ask you to bless us. Oh, God, thank you for allowing us to live in the flow of your blessings. Because, Father, when we live in the flow of your blessings, all things work together for the good, for the good, Lord, according to your will. And for us that know Father God, that everything is well. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. We give you all the glory. We give you all the power. We give you all the honor, because it's yours, and you're worthy of every bit of it, Lord. So we don't take it for granted today. And Lord, we just hope that we continue to lean toward you. For you said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to our own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways and you would direct our path. You said, God, in your word, that you would supply 
all our needs according to your will. And Lord, we thank you for that. And we know that you forgive us for our sins. Thank you, Lord, for looking beyond our faults and seeing our needs. There are many needs out here. There are many sick among us, but you are the healer. Yeah, I hear you saying, thy God, I am the healer. And Rafa, you will heal us. We must believe. We walk by faith and not by sight. So we believe in our heart, Lord, that you can do it. And if you don't do it on this side, we know you can do it on the other side. So I'm thankful, and we all are grateful this morning because we are blessed by you, Father. Thank you in the mighty, holy, and matchless name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. Somebody shout a praise to the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. I am the way. Listen, you guys know that we're in the I Am series. Look no further is the series pastor's been teaching from. I want you to do me a favor. Look at your neighbor and say, I am that I am. Hallelujah. Come on, look at the other neighbor and tell him, I am that I am. Hallelujah. Now listen, when we were preparing for today's message, I heard this song that I used to hear when I was a kid. I was a little kid. I remember I was maybe three or four years old in Chicago, Illinois. This song used to come on. My grandmother used to sing it. I used to hear them singing it in the kitchen when they were cooking. And I remembered it. And I said, man, we got to do that this week. We got to do that because the message is the same. And this is the way the song goes. It says, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Y'all remember that? Tell him, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Let me hear y'all say that if y'all remember saying, Jesus is. Oh yeah. I hear you. Above, above him there. Jesus, oh, said, my Lord, for, thank you, above him there, hey, listen, Jesus is still, now listen, let me tell you something this morning, I don't care what you're going through, listen to me, I don't care what you're dealing with, I don't care what the situation is. Do me a favor and lean on your neighbor and tell them, neighbor, Jesus is the answer. I don't know why some of y'all came to church this morning, but I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm here. Because I know from the time I was two years old, to right now that it didn't matter what I face Jesus is still the answer everything you're going through right now you've been looking a whole lot of places you've been doing a whole lot of things I'm going to tell you throw it all away every bit of it throw it into God because what you need is Jesus he's still the answer and if you believe he's the answer Somebody scream and give him a praise right now. Hallelujah. He is the answer. Hallelujah. Corners of your mind, traces of discouragement and peace you cannot find. Reflections of the old past that seem to face you every day. That's one thing I know for sure that she is in the way. She You cannot climb. I 
know you have your dark skies, but you think you cannot shine. They seem to face you every day, but there is one thing I know, that Jesus is the answer.
Blessings anyway, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on, call that name, call that name, come on. Come on, call that name. This is worship, come on. Healer, 
somebody's body here today. Come on. Woo. in the healing business. Father, we love you. We bless your name. We give you praise on the day because God, you are our source. You are our strength and you are our supply. Thank you, God, for one more Sunday. Thank you, God, for one more chance to lift our hands, to clap our hands, to, to shout before you because, God, you are worthy of all our praise. We ask you right now, God, that you forgive us of all our sins. God, we fell short so many times on, on last week, God. We ask you right now that you would clean us up right now in the name of Jesus. We pray right now, God, and thank you for your son's blood. We thank you, God, that your, your blood washes us and cleanses us from all our transgressions and all our iniquities, God. And Father God, we th this morning, God, we, we come with, with lips open hands and open lips and open mouths. We want to just tell you how much we love you and how much we adore you, God. This time, God, we're going to worship you for, for what you have done, but also for who you are. Thank you, God, for being God all by yourself. Thank you, God, for being our Father. And God, thank you, God, for being our friend. And we pray right now, God, for your Holy Spirit, God, that you would just fall fresh in this place on the day. We pray right now, God, just for an unusual meeting with you today. We pray now, God, for a fresh touch, a fresh anointing in this place today, God, in this house today, God, of your children who are seeking you. God, there's someone here who's thirsty for you, who is hungry for you, hungry for your spirit, and hungry for your righteousness. God. So now I pray right now, God, that you be moved, that you begin to speak, that you begin to touch that you will be in to encourage someone here God is about to let go someone here God is about to give up but I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you give them strength to follow you strength to keep on going on give them strength to keep on trusting even when it don't look like things are turning around so we thank you God for what you're doing in our life. And God, we bless your name because God, we know that you're making us brand new. Oh God, we know that you're working on us. You're working on our heart. You're working on our mind. You're working on our patience. We thank you, God, all oh, that we're in still in your hand. Thank you, God, that you're molding us to what you want us to be. Hallelujah. So we pray right now, God, that you will touch in this place today. We pray right now, God, that we won't leave here the same way we came. We thank you, God, for what you're about to do. Hallelujah. And so right now, God, we won't wait for signs. Right now, God, we won't wait for results. Right now, God, we won't wait to, for us to see things different. We're going to thank you right now. Woo. On hallelujah. We're going to bless your name in advance. We're going to thank you, God, for our next miracle, for our next breakthrough. We're going to bless you in advance for our next blessing. We're going to lift our hands and open our mouth and give you glory for what you're about to do. For what you're about to do. For what you're about to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 We ask you, God, that you would fix it, Jesus. We ask you, God, you would turn things around. We ask you, God, that you would heal our bodies. We ask you, God, to give us deliverance. We ask you, God, that you answer our prayers. We ask you, God, that you do the impossible. We ask you, God, hallelujah, in faith, in faith, in faith, in faith, hallelujah, God. And that's all we have right now is our faith. 
we're holding on to our faith. We're standing on your word and your faith. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, that eyes have not seen. Thank you, God, that ears have not heard what you're about to do.
chapter 14. Every Sunday morning, my prayer is God, when we gather, meet us here. I don't know about you, but I don't have time to dress up and play church. I need, I got too much going on in my life. I ain't got time to be sitting up here and playing games and, and passing notes and rolling your eyes and, and being nosy and mint. No, when I come here, I come for a meeting. I, not to meet with you, but I come to meet with him. I, all week long, I've been working. All week long, I've been toiling. All week long, I've been struggling. And I come here to touch. I need a, a wind to blow in my life. I need him to speak a word over my life. I need him to do something for me that no one else can do. Not my doctor, not my lawyer, not my banker, not my friend, not my father. Only him, he knows what I need. Anybody here stand at me just like me and say, Father, whatever you do, don't pass me by. Father, touch me. Father, speak to me. Father, move in this place by your spirit. Not just for me, but bless my neighbor. Bless my pew. Bless my side. Give him a blessing. Give him a breakthrough. Hey, thank you. I don't know about you. I want to be blessed, but guess what? I want my pew to be blessed too. Come on here. I want my row to be blessed. Just turn. Turn somebody and say, neighbor, I want you blessed too. I want you blessed. I, I want you healed too. I want you delivered too. I want you to have peace in your life too. I want you whole too. I want you to have the same thing that I have. I, you pray for me and I, I pray for you. I need you to come through. I need you to pull through. I need you to persevere. I need you to lift up your head. You cannot give up. You cannot sit down. You gotta keep on trusting God. You gotta keep on believing God. You gotta hold on to His hand.
chapter 14 the word of God says beginning in verse 1 John 14 it says let not your heart be troubled you believe in God believe also in me in my father's house are many mansions and if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go and prepare a place for for you I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am there you may be also and where I go you know and the way you know and Thomas said to him Lord we don't know where you are going how and how can we know the way and Jesus said to him I am the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the Father except through me and if you had known me you would have known my Father also and from now on you know him and have seen him uh, today I want to simply preach about uh, the cure for a troubled heart uh, the cure for a troubled heart heart disease is one of the most dreadful disease that man has to face on this side of life it, it, it leads to many, to many causes of, of death the human heart is the center of, of life and just as the heart can give the physical body trouble the spiritual heart can give the spiritual body trouble. One's heart is the center of his or her personality, his or her will or intellect. And each believer is responsible to watch and look after the condition of their, of their, of their heart. What troubles most of us is what's ahead. We are fearful of the unknown. We are fearful of what we do not know. We are fearful of the future. And sometimes we are even fearful about death because all of these things and much more, it troubles us. And John chapter 14, it is a, a familiar scripture and sadly, it's mostly read at funerals. But this scripture, y'all, is not about death. It's about life. And this passage of scripture, y'all, is, is what we call uh, the upper room discourse, John 13 through John 16. It is the night before uh, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, he faces betrayal, denial, rejection, suffering, and shame and Jesus Christ sits with his disciples as he tries to prepare them for his departure matter of fact uh, chapter 14 is a response y'all uh, to chapter 13 because while he is talking and while he's giving y'all a teaching moment that Peter who always talked too much and talked at the wrong time interrupts him in chapter 13 verses 36 and 38 and it says that Simon Peter said to him Lord where are you going 
going and and Jesus answered him where I am going you cannot follow me now but you shall follow me afterward and Peter said to him Lord why can I not follow you now I will lay down my life for you for your sake and Jesus answered him will you lay down your life for my sake most assuredly I say to you the rooster shall crow not till you have denied me some three times he interrupts him uh, in chapter 13 and Jesus like him being a master teacher in chapter 14 uh, gives all of them a lesson but the truth is the disciples at this point they are upset they are troubled the atmosphere in the upper room is serious it is it's somber uh, for several reasons because number one one, Jesus Christ is about to die on the cross. Then number two, their master, their teacher is about to leave them and they feel inadequate to carry up the mantle. And then number three, he already had told them in the previous chapter that somebody at the table, somebody in the room is going to betray me. And then he just tells Peter, Peter, you mean good, but guess what? By the third time the rooster crows, you will deny me. It's tense. It's, it's somber. But the truth is, you and I, are, sometimes we feel just like those disciples. Sometimes in life, we feel like the Lord has deserted us. Sometimes we feel like that we're living life all by ourselves sometimes like Jesus we, we know what it means uh, to have a trusted family member or a trusted friend who, who say they love us but guess what they're the main one who betray us we know what it means to know someone close to us that we are pulling from and just like Peter, they, they fail. And guess what? In the midst of their troubled heart, Jesus Christ calms their fears and tells them, let not your heart be trouble. He wants them to know guess what? In the midst of your troubled heart, you still can have a greater power and purpose than know that God is in control. And here he is with this six I am and he gives us them and gives us a cure for those who were dealing with heart trouble. For those of us in the room, online who are wrestling with heart issues he tells us here's the cure I am the way the truth and the life uh, watch how he unfolds and walks into this lesson Reverend Lyons uh, in verse number two and three so guess what I'm getting out of here uh, but, but listen understand this uh, where, where I'm going uh, uh, I'm going to my father's house uh, and matter of fact uh, my father's house in my father's house uh, that there are many mansions uh -huh. matter of fact if it were not told I, I would not have told you but matter of fact what I'm going to do here I'm leaving here but I'm going to make preparations uh, just for 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 you uh, what, what, he, what he's speaking of is uh, this place called, called, called heaven you do know uh, that, that sometimes we don't talk about heaven more like we should talk about because the truth is uh, that heaven y'all it is a real place uh, uh, that, that heaven y'all is not a, a state of a mind a uh, hell a uh, heaven is a a real place but here it is it, it's a real place but it's also a prepared place for a prepared people you the truth is everybody who talking about heaven ain't going to heaven everybody who's singing about heaven ain't going to heaven everybody who jumping up and shouting about heaven ain't going up to heaven the, the truth is you can't buy your way to heaven you can't beg your way uh, to heaven you can't bargain your way to heaven can I tell somebody you must be you got to be you ought to be 
born again. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And that's how you can you can get up to heaven. And watch what he does for this troubled heart. He gives us in this one statement. He gives us these three three ideas, and he unfolds them. Number one, he tells us that Jesus is the way. He said, he said, Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't, we, don't, we don't know where you are going and how can we know the way? He said, no, Thomas, understand this. Uh, I, I am um, uh, the way. Watch this. Uh, Jesus is the way. It speaks to uh, that father's house. Uh, uh, listen, when I first started driving, um, um, one of those first lessons in, in driving school was a lesson on traffic signs. Uh, the, the instructor wants us to know, make sure if you're going to be an effective driver, uh, you got to learn how to recognize and interpret uh, tra uh, traffic signs. I mean, uh, the stop sign, the, uh, the yield sign. But, but, but one sign he wanted to make sure I understood was the one-way sign. That, 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 that one that one that one way says guess what the driver uh, you can only drive in one direction and anybody who is driving in the other direction you are going uh, the wrong way it seems like here in John 14 and 6 that Jesus gets a spiritual one way sign and says listen and points to him I am the way I am the the only way Jesus says to us that he is the only access to to the father understand this the way we see a few books later in the book of Acts because before they were called Christians they were called the people of the way uh, the people who follow Jesus uh, and, and can I tell you something uh, because he says I want to be clear here uh, to heaven to get to my father I'm not a way I am the way I I know I'm going uh, to cause some next to pop. I know I'm going to call some folk to get upset. But I want you to know all you Pharisees and all you Sadducees, if you want to get to heaven, if you want to get to, to my father, you've got to come by me. And just as it was a controversial statement uh, in those days, do you not know today it is a controversial statement? Because when you say that Jesus Christ Christ is the only way the truth is that it is not popular in our culture because guess what if you say these things they'll call you arrogant they'll call you hateful they'll call you intolerant but but but, but, but what troubles me is that everybody in the world stands on their convictions but the church it is the church who waffles. It is the, the church who shuffles. But can I tell you something? Whatever he has said, we, we can't waffle. Uh, we can't change what he said. We got to stand on what the word of God says. And I know what's quiet here, but I came to tell somebody on this first Sunday in April, it's time for the church to be the church. Uh, the church, we are not the world. We are not a civic club. We are not a school board. We are not a bank but we are the church we ought to be different we ought to live different and sometimes the things we believe it goes against what the world believes many times the things that we that we read and confess they don't understand it but God has not called you to be the same he's called you to be different you are a royal priesthood. You are a chosen generation. He didn't call you to blend in like a chameleon, but he called you to be the church. I know I'm in trouble here, but the truth is, many of your co-workers, they don't know you saved. Because the only time you talk about church is at church. 
But can I tell you something? When you leave church, church shall follow you. Because guess what? Church should be on your life. I ain't saying you got to be all perfect. Uh -huh. but, but guess what? It ought to be something different about you. Uh, different the way you talk. Different the way you walk. There ought to be something different in your behavior, in your attitude. Let the church be the church. God has, has called us to love everybody but we still must hold on to what we believe and I have all types of friends with all different types of faith but can I tell you something their faith won't influence me to what I believe Lord have mercy their faith won't change what I believe I still believe in one Lord one faith, Lord have mercy, and one baptism, Lord. I, I, I tell you this, uh, the story I told you a couple of times, I tell you it again, some several years ago when I was, when I was invited to a, a, a inner faith breakfast, this, this rabbi asked me to, to be, to give the invocation and, and I, I agreed and he said, listen, just do me a favor, Reverend, uh, we'll have all different types of faiths in the room, uh, just make sure when you end your prayer uh, that you don't mention Jesus. I said, no, 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 I, I'm sorry, I'll show up, but I can't pray because guess what, uh, every time I think of him my hand go up come on here every time I, I call him I, I, think, I, I can't help but call the name of Jesus I mean it's Jesus in who I live and, and, and have my move and, and have my being it, it, it was Jesus who saved me it was Jesus who helped me it was Jesus who kept me from going crazy it was Jesus who wiped the tears from my eyes it was Jesus who held my life together it was nobody but Jesus and now you asking me not to call his name I can't do it every chance I get I'ma holler Jesus every chance I get the microphone I'ma call his name Jesus 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 was a neighbor. Every time I call that name, I feel better. Help me call his name. Can somebody say Jesus? Can somebody say? Can somebody say Jesus? I, I, he says, "I am the the the, the only." The only way, I know that they say in Buddhist that they're looking at, uh, for nirvana, but I am the, the only way. I know in Hindu they say they're looking for enlightenment, but I am the only way. I, 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 there's not a, another way. It, I am the, the way. And, and that means since he is uh, the way, that we have to learn how to follow the way. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. If, if if he is our leader, if if he is our shepherd, if he is our Lord, uh, we should be trying uh, to lead him. We should be trying to follow him. We, we got to follow the way, but but we got to make sure we tell other people about the way. You know. We talk about everything but Jesus. We, we gossip. We speculate on stuff we think we know that ain't true. But we never talk about Jesus Christ. And some of our family members, we know who are not saved. We will not mention about Jesus Christ. We have friends who we know who are not saved. We won't part our lips 
to invite them to church, uh -huh, uh, to invite them to uh, a walk of life. And matter of fact, some of you are too bougie and some of you have amnesia. You won't even open your mouth and tell somebody how he blessed you and how he helped you. No, 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 no. The Bible says, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. And if you are redeemed, every chance you get, you ought to open your mouth and tell somebody. Huh? Is anybody in the room going to say so? Come on here. Anybody in the room got to say so, Spirit? Say, I'm going to tell somebody what he did for me. I got to tell somebody how he set me free. I got to tell somebody how he broke the chains in my life. I got to tell somebody how he gave me, gave me eyes to see. I got to tell somebody that he's blessed me you ought to have the can't help it every chance you get you ought to tell somebody how good Jesus Christ has been in this your life Jesus says number one I am the way but then number two, he says, for this cure for the troubled heart, uh, uh, Jesus says, Jesus is the truth. I am the way, the truth. Jesus is the truth, watch this, that speaks to the Father's heart. Jesus said, I want you to know that, that you are looking not at one of these fake messiahs who've been running around saying that they are the one who the prophets have prophesied about. I, I want you to understand that, that I am the one that, that, that Isaiah said is going to come. I'm the one that Obadiah and Malachi that said is going to come. I I am the one. Matter of fact, I am not fiction. I am not fake, but I am truth. That is a good word for somebody here today because we serve a Jesus who is truth. I, I, I mean, for you to understand that, you got to understand and really be transparent because guess what? Uh, in your life, uh, before Christ came in, uh, you were chasing things that was pseudo truth come on here I, I mean the devil had you looking crazy because you were chasing every wind you were chasing everything that could gratify your flesh you were chasing things uh -huh. and you do know that sin does feel good mm -hmm. Oh, we got caught. Oh, Lord, have mercy. No, 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 no real sin. Uh, it does feel good but the truth is that feel good is only for a moment uh, it's only for it's only temporary uh, but thank God one day uh, you you put down the fake for the truth. One day you said, no, 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 I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of chasing things that give me heartache and, and headache. I want the real thing. And aren't you glad you found Jesus? And if I can sing like John P. Key, I would tell somebody, Jesus is real, I know. Come on here. We just tell somebody, say, neighbor, Jesus is real. I can feel him in my hands. I can feel him in my feet. I can feel him all over me. For I know Jesus is his real. He he is he is he is truth. But can I tell you this? His word is truth. We we have him, but we also have the benefit of his written word and thank God for his word because his word it saves us it, his word produces faith so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God but his word also can help us during the time of temptation but then his word also gives us uh, us maturity as we grow I don't know about you but I thank God for his written word I thank God that I can read his word and it gives me what I need it gives me the strength to go on but, but one thing y'all about his word being true 
but because sometimes his truth and his word it's it makes me uncomfortable it it convicts me can I tell somebody here on, today uh, every Sunday you may not leave here shouting you may not leave here dancing because sometimes the word of God will you leave here bleeding come on here because the word of God it can encourage you but it also can cut you come on here it can cut at that sin come on here it can cut at that rebellion it can cut at that nasty attitude it can cut at the message spirit you got it can cut at that fornication it can cut lord have mercy got quiet in here it has a way of cutting you cutting you when you're coming and cutting when you're going if you sit on the good sound doctrine sometimes it'll convict you and sometimes it'll make you uncomfortable Jesus is the truth I gotta move on here can I tell you this you've got a preacher here who gonna tell you the truth Come on. listen there's sometimes you're gonna get mad at me but guess what I'm gonna tell you the truth not what I think but what the word of God says because, because guess what I, I, I didn't, you didn't hire me God hired me I don't work for you I work for God and I get in trouble if I don't tell you the truth I'll get in trouble from him if I don't tell you what the word of God said so I'm not here to please you I love you I'll kiss you I'll hug you I'll, I'll smile at you but guess what I'm going to tell you the truth Jesus is the way. Y'all come on back in here. Don't hang up on me. Jesus is the truth. Thirdly, watch this. He says, Jesus is the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the life that speaks to the Father's help. He wants us to understand this, that in him there is life. Don't miss this. All through John, life is all through the book. He already told you that I am the bread of life. He already told you that I am the resurrection and the life. But, but here, you understand this, that I am the way, the truth, and the life. In me, there is life. That means in him, there is purpose. Anything that is living has purpose, Lord have mercy. And can I tell somebody here on this Sunday morning, you may be broke, but guess what? You still have purpose. You, you may feel like other folk don't understand you, but you still have purpose. You may have messed up in life, but guess what? You still have purpose. You may have slipped up and made some mistakes, but guess what? You still have a purpose. You may be wanting right now, but can I tell you something? God made you with a purpose. Anything that's living, uh huh, it has, uh, it has, it is made with with with, with a purpose. Uh, uh, he says, "Guess what? Uh, in Him there is life, and in Him there is purpose. And thank God, in Him, uh, I have the ability uh, to tap into something else called the abundant life." Lord, have mercy on Him. That means uh, the, that means life, not that's mediocre. My life that's not settling, but that life that's bubbling over, that's overflowing. If you're connected to me, I'll give you the abundant life. Lord, have mercy. And I don't know about you. In 2024, 
I'm asking God, God, help me to tap in to your abundant life. Help me to tap in because guess what? If I tap into that abundant life, that means I tap into your supernatural glory. If I tap into the abundant life, that means I'll tap into supernatural blessings. If I tap into the abundant life, that means I tap into supernatural favor. Some of you too quiet in here. I I'll speak for me. I need God to give me some supernatural favor, some supernatural blessings. I need him to do some things that I cannot do. I need him to do some things that my money cannot do. I need him to give me abundant life. Is anybody in the room want abundant life? Say, Father, give me that abundant life. I need your purpose. And I want to walk in your fullness because I know me living apart from you is not life, it's death. I'm closing here. But there's somebody in the room today, you've been trying to live your life apart from him. There's somebody in the room, you've been trying to live your life away from him. And anytime you live your life away from him, you have darkness, you have confusion, you have misunderstanding. Oh, but child of God, when you walk with him and he walks with you, he knows how to give you supernatural life. He knows how to make your enemies your footstool. He knows how to open doors that man cannot open. He knows how to give you things that your degree cannot do. And I'm a living witness. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About the abundant life. Hallelujah. I know for myself about his life. I know for myself that Jesus Christ is life. Can I get a witness in here? I'm closing, y'all. I'll finish up next week. But can I tell you something about his life? It's not always hooked up to money. Not always hooked up to cars. Not always hooked up to your bags or your clothes. But sometimes he'll give you abundant life. That means he'll give you peace in the mix of a crazy situation. Uh -huh. Sometimes the abundant life means that he'll give you joy. And when you hit rock bottom, folk around you can't understand how you can still give God glory. Folk around you can't understand how you can still jump for joy all the hell you've been through. Folk around you can't understand how you can lift your hands in the calamity that you have faced. But can I tell somebody what they don't understand is you, you about his life and his life is in you. Can I get a witness? Jesus says that I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Hallelujah. Can you lift your hands real quick and say thank you Lord for being my way. Thank you Lord for being my truth. Thank you Lord for being my life. Can you say yeah? Can you say yeah? Can you say yeah? Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Lord, we love you. Lord, we bless your name. And we thank you for this six I am. I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the light. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That you are the cure for any troubled heart that we may have. Today, God, is somebody here with a troubled heart. Today, God, is somebody here who don't know you. Today, God, is somebody here 
who is trying to experience life on their own and today God they need to be pulled in to be connected to you so they can find real life real fulfillment real joy and real peace we love you God we thank you God and we bless your name we claim victory in Jesus name somebody shout amen come on and give God praise hallelujah listen today if you're here today and you know for yourself that you know that you don't know him to be the way that you've been trying to walk your own way or find another way for whatever you're looking for today is your day Christ says I am the way and today I want to offer you life and life more abundantly will you try me will you just trust me and I promise you you'll never be the same just stand up and walk this way I'll tell you more we'll tell you more about his love his amazing grace and the plan he has for your life and oh what a plan he has for all of his children who trust him maybe say preacher I know I'm saved I know I'm saved I know I'm saved but I know I've been out of his will I've been out of his will I need a church home because yes but if you're saved he wants you in a place that you can grow today is your day to come be a part of our family be a part of our fellowship hope is here and you can find hope today come on stand up and come on will you walk this way come on and trust him yeah Come on, today is your day, come on. Will you come today, come on. He's waiting on you. Come on, family. Come on, trust them today.
and bow your heads right now, begin to center yourself and your mind as we transition to the moment of Calvary. The moment where Christ took your place on the cross. Where he made the ultimate sacrifice that we could have life. The abundant life. Paul tells us every time we come to the table, make sure we come with the right framework, mindset, attitude. Let's take a moment to say, God, forgive me of any sins, unconfessed sins. And Lord, thank you for your sacrifice.
reaches to the highest mountain, goes to the lowest valley, the blood. Oh, yeah, the blood rain, yeah, yeah. for his blood this morning amen the bible says he sat at the table with his disciples and he took the bread and he broke the bread and he blessed the bread this is my body that is broken for you will you eat the bread same manner he took the cup said, this is my blood that shed for the remission of all your sins you drink the cup Hallelujah. And I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it. Was the blood for me?
God some praise one more time. Amen. Listen, we want to honor and welcome our members for the month of March. Amen. Deacon Graves, you want to? We have Crystal Charles and Kaylin Charles. They here, they here. They're not here. Okay, she's not here. Amen. Oh, you, you, are you going to come in her stead? Come on, we got to. And, we, and we'll welcome her on next month. Amen. But we thank God for growth. Amen. Come on, it's, it's giving time, it's offering time. Come on, let's bless God with our gifts on today. Come on, I know you're ready to give. If you need an envelope, please raise your hand. The earth is moving right now. Please, please, please get your gifts in your hand. Amen, amen. Those of you who are watching, thank you on today uh, for tuning in. We give you praise God for you on, on today. There's some prompts on your screen that you can follow and that you can sow into this ministry. Amen. We are a liberal giving church and we believe God. We're going to sow abundantly unto him. We, we thank God also want to thank God for all of you who have given to our seed of hope. Amen. Thank God for you. Thank God for you who've given. Uh, I originally said that we could but you can have those in by last Sunday. I know a few of you have called and said that your ship is still coming. Amen. It's still coming. Amen. Well, well come on and bring that ship on in. Amen. Bring it in. I'm praying to come in. I'm, I'm, but, but, but listen, I know how things are, so whenever it comes in, just give it. Amen. I, I want to thank you for, for your gifts. And um, Whenever it gives, uh, come in, uh, please sow it, and we'll be giving, uh, talking to you more about what is ahead. Uh, but I believe by faith that God has great things ahead uh, for Holman Street Baptist Church. Amen. Uh, and for his people and for his campus uh, and when his people partner together. Come on raise that hand on the envelope let's give it back to God God thank you on a day for our gifts and we give it back to you and we pray now God you bless the hand and, and bless our seed in Jesus name somebody shout amen if you were a guest today and you've given uh, you can give that seed in the bucket uh, as you leave out if you are a first-time visitor today would you please stand I want to recognize you if you're a first-time guest at Holman Street today would you please stand anyone here for the first time anyone I see somebody I see somebody I see somebody I see somebody back there as well up there as well up there as well amen thank you for coming remain standing thank you for coming to Holman Street Baptist Church come on Holman Street go to them and give them a handshake of fist bump or a hug and say thank you for coming amen come on come on We thank God that you, are, that you have come. We pray that you will come again. Real quickly, let me give some, uh, some enlightenment uh, as we leave. If you desire prayer, we have a wonderful prayer minister who will uh, give you intercessory prayer and pray for you to my left, to your right. Uh, uh, you can see them in the back, and they'll cover you uh, in prayer. Amen. Listen, I pray that you have your take five. If you don't have your take five, uh, get it before you leave. I pray you're in the word. Amen. Just 15 minutes, 15 minutes every day uh, of 50 minutes of word of prayer and of worship amen and listen and once you find out uh, and you start this 15 minutes you'll find out that 15 minutes ain't long enough no no you, you need 30 or, or, or 45 amen because in his presence is his fullness of joy listen we had a great time on yesterday amen and our festival at the street I, those of you came thank you for coming the, the Lord gave us great weather amen it was time for fun and food and fellowship so I want to thank uh, those who came thank those the, the planning committee thank you the core team thank you for all that you did uh, to make that event the organization uh, great and so we look forward to next year 
listen, men of hope, men of hope, tomorrow night uh, at 7 p.m., uh, meet us in the multi-purpose room. All men and boys, we're going to watch uh, the, uh, the final two, the final two, amen, on tomorrow night. Uh, and uh, some good basketball, uh, the, the championship of the college championship at 7 p.m. So meet us uh, in the multi-purpose room. It's going to be a great time, a great time of food, fun, and fellowship. I pray that you would you would also uh, be praying for us on Wednesday night. On Wednesday night, we, we'll hit pause on our Bible study. Uh, those who can, I'll be preaching on Wednesday at Mount Hebron uh, on Calhoun, Mount Hebron Baptist Church uh, on Calhoun. Uh, that's happening at 7 p.m. Amen. Uh, and so those who, who can come meet me there, they're, they're in revival. I'll be preaching. And those who cannot come, uh, just tune in on Facebook. Look, look at Mount Hebron on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, they have a, a, a social media, and I'll be preaching there. And if you can't come, say a prayer for me. Amen. This Friday, uh, we're doing something special because guess what? We are, we are, we're not just concerned about your spirit, man. We want to cons are concerned about your whole man, your body wholeness and wellness, amen. And so at this Friday, from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., we're having another H-E-B wellness session. Uh, they are very, very, uh, very educational, very helpful. Uh, and this Friday's topic is wellness on a budget. If I want to be well, uh, how, do, how can I do it with my last two dollars? Amen. How can, how can I do it? Amen. Because sometimes eating right, sometimes it can get expensive. All right. So we have a nutritionist from HEB and they're coming and they're going to help us to learn how to live good and be well on a budget. So listen, don't just show up. We need you to sign up. Amen. Uh, so there's something out in the North X. Please sign up uh, on the list or call the church office on tomorrow and so we can make sure that we're, we have room for you and you're prepared and so you can walk in what God wants you to do. Also, the women, the women, listen, this is their month. Amen. Uh, Pentecost, this is your month. And so they have activities on April the 20th. Uh, they're getting ready for uh, their, their network, Sisters Network, Stop the Violence, Breast Cancer Walk. Uh, on uh, at 9 a.m. at the campus of U of H. Also on the 20 on the 28th, they're getting ready for uh, their lip sync battle at the church. And then on that fourth Sunday, we're getting ready for Women's Day. Amen. And so make sure you are excited and that we're ready to go. Listen, love is in the air. Amen. It's in the air. Where is Wesley Ponder? Wesley Ponder, where are you at? C come over here and come up here real quick and bring your bride with you. Come on, bring your bride with you. Come on, bring your bride with you. Listen, for the first time, on a Sunday morning, I want to introduce Mrs. and Mrs. Wesley and Patricia Ponder. Uh-huh. Amen. And so they wanted me to announce that, and they got married, and so we are excited for them. Come on, let's give God praise for them one more time. Amen. They just, they just happy. They smiling. They smiling. They smiling. Yeah, they got married Friday and they just smiling, they smiling right now, they smiling. They, they, somebody give God praise, amen. Can I, can I tell you something? Hope is here. <laughs> Come on, stand on your feet. Hope we get out of here. Hope is here. Come on. Everybody, hope, hope is here. here. And hope is free. Bring your burn. Hope is here, 
May the Spirit of God and the peace of God and the favor of God rest root about to all meet again here or there. Amen. Go in peace. Have a great day. Have a great week. I love you. I'll see you next Sunday. Thank you.